Interstellar Plunderer is an indie arcade style 3D roguelike space shooter game. Take control of a pirate spaceship as you fly through wormholes, do battles with hordes of oncoming enemies, fight fearsome bosses and game plunder to spend on new ships and upgrades. How far can you go? At its core, Interstellar Plunderer brings together the classic shoot 'em up style we all grew up with and mixes in modern roguelike elements that keep you coming back for more. The controls are beautifully simple, just move your mouse to aim and your ship automatically fires when you've got an enemy in your sights. It's intuitive enough that anyone can pick it up, but don't let that fool you. This game knows how to keep you on your toes, especially when you're facing off against some impressive boss battles. Speaking of these boss battles, the game throws two particularly memorable fights your way right at the start. There's this robotic enforcer at the end of stage one that'll test your piloting skills, and then you've got this alien overlord in stage two that's not all too pleased to see you. They're challenging enough to make victory feel earned, but not so tough you'll be pulling your hair out. What sets this game apart from similar games is its upgrade system. Each run through the stages feels different because you're constantly making choices about how to power up your ship. Want to focus on raw firepower? Go for it. Prefer to boost your shooting speed? That's an option too. These choices actually matter and can completely change how you approach each stage. The visual style is great if you love that retro feel with its charming pixelated look that's both nostalgic and fresh. Everything pops with color, making it easy to track what's happening on screen, even when things get hectic. The developers clearly understand that in a bullet hell game, readability is crucial. The sound design is great too. The music and sound effects work together perfectly, creating this immersive space atmosphere that never gets annoying. For anyone worried about whether their computer can handle it or not, don't be. This game could probably run on a calculator, so any PC from the last decade should be able to handle it without breaking a sweat. The game comes in at just £4.29 or about $5.55. That's less than the price of lunch and you're getting hours of entertainment. The game even includes Steam achievements for those of you who love hunting them down. What makes Interstellar Planner even more impressive is that this is Cozy Frog Games' first commercial release. For a two-person studio's debut title, the level of polish here is remarkable. Sure, there's room for more content and I'm hoping we'll see some additions in the future Feature, but what's here right now is already well worth your time and money. If you've ever enjoyed games like Star Fox back on the old Super Nintendo, or if you're just looking for a fresh take on the space shooter genre, Interstellar Plunder definitely deserves your attention. It's the kind of game that reminds us why indie developers are so important to this industry. They're willing to take the classic formulas and add their own unique spin to create something that feels both familiar and new. The game might not revolutionize the genre, but it absolutely nails what it sets out to do provide an entertaining, replayable experience that respects both your time and your wallet. For a debut release from a new studio, that's incredibly impressive, and I'm genuinely excited to see what Cozy Frog Games does next.